Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Boko Haram and instability in West Africa. And of course we have to uh, talk about Boko Haram and instability in West Africa. Dr. Leonard Madhu, who has given us excellent information not only in reference to uh, terrorism in uh, West Africa, but information relative to uh, what is going on in the Middle East, in uh, South America, and other areas. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let me welcome you to the show this morning and to uh, tell you again how delighted we are to uh, have you, and at the same time to uh, be made aware of some of the things that uh, you bring to us. As I've said on a number of occasions, it appears to me that you have the information that nobody else has, and so we're glad to have you to talk about Boko Haram uh, this morning. What do we mean, uh, Dr. Madhu, when we talk about Boko Haram? Well, they are the new, new kid on the block as far as uh, terrorism is concerned. Mm -hmm. Boko Haram in the Hausa language means Western education is sinful. You know, their name sounds ironic mm -hmm. because apparently all the bombs they use and all this is made by Western technology. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they're against Western education, but they use Western technology to kill folks. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, very good. Okay, Boko Haram. That's so, correct. Uh -huh. They're using Western technology mm -hmm. and drive the scooters and cars and all this mm -hmm. that they use for their bombing. So mm -hmm. that's what's funny about it. In the mid-1990s, they, 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 that group started in a place called Borno, in the northeastern part of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Borno state shares borders with Chad mm -hmm. Republic you know, in the north. Uh, it was led by a guy called Ibrahim Yusuf. Mm -hmm. you know, initially, they started as, you know, normally as a nondescript group of, of people who have resentment you know, against the society and obviously thought that Western education and Western influence are corrupting their society. Mm -hmm. uh, they stayed that way and, you know, and engaged in low-level police you know, activities against the police and all this. Mm -hmm. Not until 2009, mm -hmm. when an incident happened in, 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 in Meduguri, that's the capital of Borono State where their base is, mm -hmm. ostensibly the police stopped some of their members and say, well, we have a law here that you have to wear helmets while driving motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Well, they resisted and started shooting, you know, with the police. Mm -hmm. And that created an incident that the federal government of Nigeria had to send in the army, you know, to, to crush the, the... It was that important, that significant, exactly, that large, exactly. that fearful. That's correct. Mm -hmm. they, it was that rough that the federal government had to send in the army to crush them. In doing so, you know, hundreds of their supporters and members were killed. Their leader, you know, Mohammed Yusuf, was captured by the army, handed over to the police, who executed him without, you know, taking him to court. No mm -hmm. questions asked, summarily executed him. Mm -hmm. Then that drove them underground, mm -hmm. you know, and they started plotting since then. Then all of a sudden, you know, they started bombing everywhere. They've uh, bombed the United Nations headquarters, you know, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, they bombed the police headquarters itself, you know, the same time, almost the same time. And now they are slaughtering Christians all over, you know, northern parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And so in a real sense, Dr. Madhu, uh, the whole struggle that people think about, the struggle between Christianity and Islam mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Nigeria, in some parts of Nigeria, is motivated, you believe, by Boko Haram? Well, Boko Haram is, is feeding mm -hmm. into, you know, that, that problem. Already a system that Exa already exists. Exactly. It's feeding into it successfully, mm -hmm. you know, one might say, unfortunately. What has happened here is that Boko Haram, you know, says, well, we want an Islamic state all over northern parts of Nigeria. You know, uh, we want secession from those uh, heathens. Mm -hmm. and, and non-believers call Christians. We want our own country, mm -hmm. you know. But then the federal government says, you, you can, you, we can't do that. We can't compromise on, you know, one country, you know, or Islamic Republic all over the country. Mm -hmm. So now we are at a deadlock. What do you do, you know, with, with, with them? Okay, and Dr. Madhu, let's uh, make 
this first commercial break. And when we come back, I think we'll be able to pick up at that particular point. And so what we're saying now is that this group is, 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 is violent, uh, terrorist organization, and they want to, in, in, in a real sense, create an Islamic state all over Nigeria, not only in, 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 in uh, northern Nigeria, mm -hmm. but all over Nigeria. Is that what we're saying? And, and, and when we come back within the next 10, 10 uh, seconds, we're going to pick up at that point mm -hmm. and have you to elaborate on that. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs> 